Hello friends and welcome to another session on problem solving and we are doing congruent triangles. Now the question says PQRS is a quadrilateral and P and U are respectively points on PS and RS such that PQ is equal to RQ. So this side is equal to this side given R uh, PQT PQT is equal to RQU so it's mentioned so these two triangles this triangle is equal to this triangle so uh, sorry angle and these two angles are also given this one and this one okay these are equal okay we have to prove that QT that is this QT is equal to QU okay so we know that if we have to equate or find two different elements of two different triangles to be equal the best is prove that they are congruent part of congruent triangles right now qt if you see qt is a part of two triangles pqt or pqs and likewise qu is part of qru and qus correct so either of them have to be congruent right now if you see it will be a little easier to do the uh, these two triangle parts right so if you see qts and qus if you consider that to be congruent so what will happen then then there is a common side clear there is a angle which is already given equal right so hence either we so you know obviously we can't have qt is equal to qu already given then the question is not appropriate that means we have to find something else and preferably this angle to be equal to this angle if this angle also becomes equal to this angle then what will happen this is one angle one pair of angles equal there is a common side which is equal and another pair of angle to be equal are equal then by a s a these two will be congruent and then you will be able to prove that q u is equal to q t correct now out of these this is already given to be equal there is a common side but how to prove that this angle is equal to this angle for that these two angles also should be part of two different triangles which are congruent themselves so if you now see angle s is part of pqs and this angle s is part of qrs so somehow if i prove that these two bigger triangles pqs and rqs are congruent then automatically these two angle let's say x and y will become equal because of cpct so are these two triangles same let's check uh, the uh, clearly this side is given to be equal so pq is equal to qr one side is given to be equal these two angles are independently or individually equal so this one is equal to this one right so this plus this is going to be equal to this plus this so that's also there and there's a common side so this gives a clear picture of uh, how to go about the line so hence the strategy would be to prove that so let me just remove all those marks so the strategy would be to prove that the two triangles pqs and rqs are congruent okay so let me reiterate the strategy pqs rqs are congruent hence this angle x is equal to this angle x and hence these two triangles pqs and uqs are congruent and hence you can say qt is equal to qu this is the line so before you uh, start solving you should spend some time thinking the thinking on how to go about the problem so let's solve it so first of all as a customary we will write what is given so given is uh, pq is equal to pq is equal to rq this is given also angle pqt so let me write it here angle pqt is equal to angle rq u right and also pqs angle tqs is equal to angle uqs uqs right uqs is tqs this is given right and what do we need to do we have to establish to prove what do we need to prove we need to prove that uh, pq sorry qt or yeah qt is equal to q u this is what we need to prove okay so let's begin the proof so i will utilize the space here okay so how to go about the proof so we'll say in triangle 
So let's first prove that x is equal to x, right? In triangle PQE, PQT and triangle RQS. PQS, I'm sorry, this should be PQS. PQ in triangles PQS. Okay, PQS and RQS, they are corresponding. So order of vertices is also right. So what do we know? We know that PQ is equal to how much? QR already given. So right given, right? So all the reasoning also have to be provided, given, okay? Now, um, angle PQT is equal to angle RQU, isn't it? Angle RQU and angle PQS is equal to angle UQS. So if you add both, add both, both of them, LHS to LHS, RHS to RHS, you will get angle PQT plus angle TQS is equal to what? Angle RQU, RQU plus angle UQS. U Q S. Okay. So what is P Q T plus T Q S? Check P Q T plus T Q S is nothing but P Q S. So I can write this as P Q S. And in this case, R Q U plus U Q S can be written as R Q S. So angle R Q S. So first thing this was established. 1, 2 and third one which we are going to establish anyways, QS is equal to SQ, right? So using these three tick marks, 1, 2, 3, what can we say? We can say triangle, triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS, reason SAS, right? Check S A. S congruence criteria. Okay, the moment this is true, then let me again make some divisions here. Okay, so the moment that is true, can we not say what can we say? We can say that um, angle. So this is what we establishing. Angle PSQ will be equal to RSQ. Okay, and why is this? C, P, C, T. Congruent parts of congruent triangle. Now, once that is established, we'll take the other two triangles. In triangle, which one? T, Q, S. T, Q, S. And triangle uh, U, Q, S. U, Q, S. What do we know? We know that Q, S is equal to Q, S. Common side. We need not write even common. So QS is common and we just found out that these new angles are equal. And previously also TQS is equal to angle UQS. This was given. Where was it given? Here. So it's given. Given. And, and we just proved that PSQ, right? or PSQ is equal to angle USQ, USQ by what? By this here, by this. So it is PSQ, but P A and T are on the same line. So this, this can easily be said that this is equal to angle PSQ is equal to angle USQ, correct? So there's no problem in that now. So TSQ is equal to USQ. Therefore, therefore, by ASA criteria, angle side angle. We will be learning about this in the subsequent uh, videos. That ASA criteria is also there. Many of you would also be already be knowing it. So by ASA congruence criteria, congruence criteria. What can we say? We can say that. We can say that triangle EQS is congruent to triangle UQS. 
U Q S. Check the order of the vertices. That's very important, as I have been telling you again and again. Now, the moment you establish this fact, what do we now know? Learn. We learn that angle angle or rather you can now say qt that is what we have to find out qt is equal to qu right qt is equal to qu and why is this c p c t okay so because of the congruent part of congruent triangles again in this particular problem we had two triangles which were the two pairs of triangles which were congruent and that only helped us to prove this given required relationship right i hope you understood this problem